Good morning, friends, and welcome to this autumnal weekend in my life. I recently arrived home after spending almost four months abroad, and I was greeted by beautiful early fall foliage, these raspberries, which I caught right before the end of their season, and some of the later blooming flowers in my mom's garden. the first morning of the season that properly felt like fall. It was just above 50 degrees and windy and that first little bit of fall weather was so invigorating. It's that kind of weather that you only get for a few weeks out of the year and its short-lived nature is part of what makes fall feel like a fleeting moment of magic. I decided to gather some leaves to press and decorate my room with. So many had fallen already, even this early in the season, and it was so special to see all the different color variations that covered the lawn. After pressing the leaves I collected, I sat down to do some work. I really love my desk setup at the moment. I've covered it in autumnal books that I love, mini pumpkins and gourds, candles, and other fall knickknacks that just bring me a lot of joy. Thank you.
next morning, we drove out to a local farm. We get our CSA box from here, and as they're nearing the end of their season, they invited members to come pick the last of some of the crops for themselves. It was such a lovely morning, spending time among fields and fields of produce, flowers, and beautiful tall grasses. A lot of people brought their kids, and seeing all of these little kids get so excited about picking out their own pumpkin and picking their own vegetables and making bouquets of flowers. It was just so heartwarming. squash, a pumpkin, basil, beans, kale, flowers, and so much more. And as an added bonus, we saw these adorable farm cats. When I got home, I decided to make an autumnal mood board for my wall. I had lots of pictures and postcards and things that I wanted to use as they were, but I also created some things myself using old paper, tapes, cutouts, and some of the leaves that I got from the garden. absolutely love the way it turned out. I think it really captures the coziness of fall, but it also has a touch of spookiness. And it focuses on nature and literature, which of course are two of my absolute favorite things in the whole world. Before going to bed, I just read a little bit of The Haunting of Hill House, which I am absolutely adoring. And that brings us to the end of this autumnal weekend. Thank you so much for watching, friends.